We had a field day and farm tour scheduled. We got rained out and it was perfect. So we started out at Fresh Start Farms, ended up meeting in their shop instead of in the field. And so in the shop, we went through some presentations. We're a first generation farm here in Hodgenville. We farm about 7,600 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat. Ever since, everybody's been devastated since the tornado hit Princeton. And that devastation, I think, brought a tear to all of us. But we, we are very excited in, uh, of what the, what's to come. You know, there's always, with something bad, there's always something good. And I think the good of this is we get to go back and we get to rebuild and we'll have a top-notch experiment station down there. But because of that and because of the damage that's sustained at Princeton, uh, I guess this is maybe one of the first times that we've ever moved the UK corn and soybean field day away from one of the research stations. We've had it at Princeton for as long as I can remember. This is the first event that we've canceled in a season. Our goal was to have it on a couple of farms where we're doing research. Research is being funded by our Kentucky Soybean Board and by our Kentucky Corn Growers. And then our second field location, we didn't have any shelter there. So we came directly over to the Hardin County Extension Office, which was gonna be where we we're gonna end up anyhow. And we just did the, the next set of presentations there. And the farm that we didn't get to go see, that farmer brought three ears of corn in that we got to evaluate and get a, get a sense of what this type of season has been in terms of effect on the growth and development of the corn in that field, which the water stress has really stretched it out. And so that made for some interesting talking points as well. We've always had a really proactive group of farmers here in Hardin County and in LaRue County both, uh, who are always willing to do on-farm research. A lot of them have worked directly with some of the specialists out of both Princeton and Lexington and have volunteered their farms, volunteered their fields for these specialists to do research on, uh, just like they do at the research stations in Princeton and Lexington. We were more than willing to be able to host, uh, to try and show off what we're doing outside of these research stations and right here at the grassroots level on a real live farm uh, in Central Kentucky. Being a UK graduate, we've always been very uh, loyal to the university and uh, to especially the College of Ag. You know, at the College of Ag, I take pride in that and we've worked closely with them doing research over the years and had a lot of research plots. So, so I think it was a great fit and we had a great turnout here today and, and hey, it brought rain. So uh, here in Central Kentucky in end of July, we're tickled to death to see some rain. There are a lot of people that really enjoy the corn, soy, and tobacco field day at Princeton. They mark it on their calendar early on. They expect to go. They expect to see a lot of other people that they know. And so my anticipation is we're gonna have that field day every year. We may have a couple of these farm tours that go on in addition to that field day.